Hi and thanks for joining us for another Schoolbox tutorial. Today we've got a bit of a longer tutorial as we're going to be covering the course builder and how to build a course. So to start, uh, log in as a teacher and we're going to browse to our resources and we're going to actually create this course uh, in our faculty area. And the reason we're going to uh, do this here is so that it's uh, sort of you know, known as a persistent area for teachers to collaborate on and to develop their uh, resources year on, to exist year on year. So I'm going to add this um, as a blank home page and don't need my students to have access to this. You could optionally, obviously, uh, customize the access for this uh, page. So this course landing page is really just going to be used as a maybe an overview, uh, but there's no, no set way that this has to be done. So I'm just going to use this as an example. Course, course overview. I'm going to put a description in here. And one of the features of the course builder is the ability to add a rubric at the course and the unit level. So I'm going to add a course level rubric and I've got some demo data that I'm going to use throughout this uh, tutorial that I've created in advance. So that's sort of a basic, um, very, very simple uh, example of how we can create the, the sort of the course landing page. Now you may want to also at this point add a folder component and uh, use this component to add the subfolders of the units of work that are going to exist in this course. Uh, in this example I'm just going to navigate back and you can see that this year 10 course page is now a home page in our faculty area. Now the next step is going to be to add our actual units of work. So I'm going to click add folder again and I've got some uh, demo data here so I'm going to use this. Now I might just use that home page template. You may want to develop a specific home page template for courses and, and, uh, and units. And we're also going to want our students to be able to access this page so they're going to need read permissions to do that. So I've created my unit homepage and again we may use this uh, top text box or we could add a text box to have say a unit description and I've got this content here so just paste that in here for now. Of course this is a unit homepage so this can be just like your normal curriculum pages, uh, those home pages. So you can develop these to be full of rich content and multimedia. There's really no limit on, on how you use uh, this, this page. Uh, you could have even sub pages and further break down the content and that type of thing. So I've got some files uh, I'm going to upload and develop this, this particular unit. So I'm going to add a file component. Uh, I might add a link component uh, and a multimedia. Add a video component. I may have some audio files. So let's just start with this. And we're going to develop this uh, this particular unit. So uh, I might start by posting my videos, and I've got a video in my downloads area here and I'll just grab the description of that video give it a name, make it meaningful what's that? it's a rather large, rather large file so that's just going to take a minute to push up Okay, so that's, that's now transcoding and uh, storing that video, ready to make it uh, available for streaming. And I'll post this second video. And we've got an audio file here, so we'll, uh, once this one's finished uploading, push that up as well. Okay. 
okay. Got a name. And it's video. Might be able to be played right from the home page as well. And I've got some other files here too. So I might just um use this post multiple files and um, select and select all these other files here as well. Now that's a, a little quiz that I'm going to use too. So we'll just quickly upload all of these to done a bit faster. Okay. So at this point now that I've uploaded some images, I uh, might want to put an image gallery on the page to display them. And while those are Continuing, I'll uh, just see if I've got any. Uh, yep, I've got some links here, so I might post a link. So I could um, also choose to embed this uh, this video if I wanted to in a text box. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to use a link. And I've also got a, a Google Map here, so might just add a text box uh, call this planet Earth and add my iframe in there. Excellent. So you can see what I've done is I've quickly created a specific unit of work uh, and this can be used to store all of that uh, information, the curriculum, resources, uh, etc. Files, links, videos, that type of thing. Now the next step is to actually turn this unit of work into, uh, or put it into our course. So it's, it's currently a folder sitting inside our Year 10 faculty area. And to do that we're going to use the course builder. And you can see here it says use this component to build tasks and assessments for a course. So we add the course builder and that's going to instantly appear and it's going to automatically be pointing to your faculty area as that's set in the admin system. So we're going to start by adding some tasks and we've got some options here. We can either add a, a general task with a link or I could upload a file or browse to an existing resource on the system. I can add quizzes and online assessments or I can add Duke work. So I've got some examples here that we're going to use. So we're in chapter one of the text. This is pretty self-explanatory, and we'll let the students oh, we'll, we'll, we'll want to mark that as well. So we'll add that. And I'll add a view the Google Earth map, which we'll post it up, and we'll let them self-assess that. Next we're going to use our quick quiz. So I'm going to add assessment and just going to call this quick quiz. I'm not going to go through how to uh, create a quiz at the moment, but actually what I'm going to do is just import this uh, this quiz that I have. Okay, and that's done. So we go back to our homepage. So you can see that's now appeared, and I'm also going to add a due work item. The report, that's our title, and give this a description. Now I can optionally attach files, I can set the assessment type, uh, change the due work type. And you can see here if I select rubric, it's actually going to bring through the course level criteria. I can optionally create a unit level criteria or specify uh, descriptors on a, on this actual uh, specific due work item. So I've got quite a lot of options there with the rubric support in the course builder. In this case I'm just going to leave it as percentage and all these settings are obviously pretty standard for all of our due work items. You will notice though that I'm not setting dates uh, for this due work item or on the online assessment and that's because the assessment will be created uh, when I import the course down to my class page and I'll actually set the dates on when the unit is going to be open from until on my class and that's going to use those dates for, um, 
for the actual assessments on my class, not on the course. So this course and this unit are really just a template of the tasks and assessments, as well as providing all of the resources that go along with it with that course and that unit. So by definition, a course is a, a folder with a subfolder of units and on that on a unit folder for there to be a course folder with at least one task. Now I can also drag and drop these around and reorder them if I want to. Now I might just add one more of each of these a task. I drag on the social stream and we'll add an oral assessment. Alright. Okay, so now we've created our course. Now, if we look back at our uh, faculty area, you will see now that the icon has changed. So that will change as soon as you have added a subfolder to that folder and added a course builder to that uh, sub page with one task at least. Okay, so that's how we actually build our course. I uh, hope that's been helpful. If you've uh, got any questions, feel free to get in contact with us. There's more information available on our wiki. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.